I don't know what to do. That's annoying! It looks terrible. We're hiding these. Ow! What is going on here? This is a joke. Where's the dish? This should be really obvious. Oh dear, oh dear. Hello, I'm Barry, this is Mike, and welcome to Fridge Cam. Historically, we have not gotten well with this format or this dish. Will today be the day that all changes? Probably not. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 How are we feeling? Here we are again. Here we are again. Janice, uh, what is the theme? Today, we're mixing it up a little, and you'll be cooking a specific dish. However, that dish will only be revealed to the person going first. I don't know if that's better or worse. I don't think... OK. Well, who is going first? The community suggested order is hand size, from smallest to largest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's got tiny hands. So, well done, so Joe. Well, so you're second. No! So I get to know what it is? Yeah, I guess. Oh, oh what are you going to do? Get out. Red. I'm up first. <laughs> Okay, Ben, today's dish is paella. Mm. Your time starts in three, two, one, chaos. I could have gone kind of meaty, I could have gone fishy, I could have gone chorizo, but I know that upsets people if you get that wrong. So, I went for the fish, but there's also snails there, and we never have those. So, first up, paella pan preheat, onion and garlic. Let's talk paella. With this dish, I reckon there's a good 15 minutes where nothing should be touched. The pan should not be touched. The paella should not be stirred. Please don't stir it. Generous on the olive oil. The other thing I'm gonna do and commit to is a stock because that is really important for paella. Uh, so what have we got? I think that is a fishy stock. It certainly smells fishy. The wine we'll use to deglaze the pan later on. Mission critical here will be the right ratio of rice to liquid. Because this is a short grain rice, it takes on more liquid. So they've got to get the ratios right. Pepper. I think the clues are there in the sense that onions are softening in a pan we've got peppers, we've got garlic, I don't want to add those just yet. That's the biggest clue. And I've definitely left the chorizo on the table. It's important that Barry does move on to rice. Next, and I reckon, I might regret saying this off my head, ratio is about three or four to one stock to rice, which means hopefully he will think about a volume of rice. And then if he refills that up three or four times with the stock, then we should be okay. Just going to infuse that shellfish stock with a little bit of fennel frond and then some smoked paprika into this pan with the garlic. Last few seconds, how well have I done? Well, it's everything here. It can be done in 50 minutes. Will it be done in 50 minutes? I don't know, but the clues are here. I'm going to give myself a really cocky eight. Barry! I don't want to look. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Oh, oh no. Okay, so we've got a big pan, some onions, and we've got some peppers, some... Oh, wait a minute. We're making paella. What's a paella? <laughs> Let's answer that first. Paella is a rice-based dish with some, like, Spanishy flavours going on. Um, it has some, obviously, some fish and some snails in it. That's obviously some sort of stock that's going to go into this with some some rice. Please don't say I've got to do the rice bit. Rice. Give it a mix up, get those flavours merging around. Whilst that's in there as well, I'm going to chuck in a bit of thyme because... Uh, Barry, that's rosemary. Oh, it's not thyme, it's rosemary, Barry! For some reason, there's some spare rice here. Silly boy. Get that in there. Dice these up. They're going to go in there. Then I'm going to start adding my stock. Quite a big pan for not a lot of rice. Peppers? Sure. <laughs> it was chopped. It was chopped, so it's going in. I feel like the rice is quite an important part. Let's get some liquid in there. 
A few of these. What is this? <laughs> what is this? I think Ben's left enough clues for me to work out what we're making. No clues on how to make it. How much do we want to go for? That much. How long left? Sure, chorizo. Chorizo, chicken. I'm kind of confident. I think Jamie can come in here now and he can, oh, wait a minute, wine. Let's get that in there quickly. Half the pile, half for me. Oh, 20 seconds. I was, took too long drinking wine and chopping chorizo. That's too hot. Once the oils have been released, chicken's gonna go in there and all that's gonna go in there. Um, I'll give myself seven. Seven out of 10. Don't think I screwed thing up. Jamie! It's gonna burn. Don't know. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. Oh. Um, right, what have we got going on? This is a. Oh no, this is a mistake. There is chorizo going on. And if there's one thing I've learned about paellas, it's number one, don't put it in a burrito. And number two, don't put chorizo in it. Right, now the one thing I know about paella is you don't stir it because you want to get a crispy bottom on it. I'm thinking we're not gonna put the chorizo in the paella. That could be a fantastic side dish. My plan would be to keep it as a seafood paella because you don't mix seafood and meat in a paella traditionally. So I'm gonna add in stuff around it that can hopefully be slightly separate but also together. Stuff it, let's do some chicken. Let's just make something delicious and stuff the authenticity of it. Oh no, here we go, right. Get this in and then we'll clean hands. It could be leading people down a bad road, but we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna leave that on the side and basically Mike or James can decide whether or not to add that into what is going to be our Spanish rice dish. But I'm not going to call it paella. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, job! Oh, what are we doing? Number one, peas need to go into there later. But number two, there is so much snacking meat over there that we've missed out on. Ah! Okay, well, I'm done. Um, four, four out of ten. Mike! Mike! Paella. Oh no. Oh, snails, but they've got some garlic butter and stuff. Peas. Okay, right. That feels like it's got too much liquid. Oh no. Jamie knows that you can't put meat and seafood in a paella. Let's start by eating some stuff. Those paella rain grains are absolutely raw. It's also only heat in the middle. You're not supposed to stir it because you need the crispy bottom, but none of the edges, none of it's cooking. We were given a dish and we're going to make raw paella. That's not getting enough even heat. Can I heat up the edges to ensure that that does actually happen? I'm gonna do a bit of a Barry Taylor hob thing going on here. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna prepare the fish and then I'm gonna let James decide. Big old chunks of lovely white fish that I had no idea of its name. I think James is gonna come in and think, oh my goodness, I've got a lot to do, but I think he'll actually be quite positive. What am I saying? Started that process, that is bubbling away. That can cook a little bit more, but if I continue cooking it, it's gonna overcook and taste horrible. He's gonna add peas in there, snacking meat. I haven't done too badly. I'm gonna give myself a six because I haven't added anything to the dish. I think I might have just helped it along, which was my job anyway, right? James! Hi Ella, that was easy. It's looking interesting. That doesn't taste of very much or anything. And we've got seafood, cool. Meat, snails, it's not, it's not very cooked. It's a non-stick paella pan, so I'm just gonna stir it because it's never gonna form a crust in a non-stick pan.
Are we going meaty or are we going fishy? Nobody's been able to make up their mind. Has somebody used this as well? It's saffron and it doesn't feel like it's been opened. So I'll put some of that in. I think that's essential. It would be cool to use the snails, which you can't do with seafood, obviously. Yeah, let's go meat. Oh, but I, I wish we cooked the meat in the paella. And that's why there's no flavor in it, because you cook the meat separately. But I will add some of the oil, because more flavor. How long do snails cook for? Five to six minutes? It's weird that there's garlic butter in there. Oh, I could skip that out. I'm ignoring the seafood. Seafood can be my lunch, not a problem. I'm not worried about that. So this is a chicken and snail paella. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's kind of exciting. These are going in. Some lemon, is that lemon? Yes, there's lemon. Oh, caper berries. I wonder if they would work. And they're kind of cool and they're kind of acidic and I like the idea of them. It's done, it's done. I can just keep on the hob and then lift it off and it's done. Time's up. I'm looking and feeling pretty relaxed because that is how you serve a paella. I don't need to transfer it to a plate. That's going in the middle of the table. I hope the snails are cooked. Shall I say maybe a seven? It looks pretty. I think it's got better flavor than when I came in. I've finished, it's ready. It's ready. It might be good. Shall oh. I do it? Shall I do it? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. It's I mean, a... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool, good, good. In 50 minutes, the boys have created an over, under and perfectly cooked paella featuring snails, chicken, chorizo oil and a big side of human error. It was definitely supposed to be a paella. Okay, good. Yes. How do you feel about this? Um, I feel okay about it. Right, what are we looking here for to be a success? Perfectly cooked rice. It is all about the rice, really. Cheers. Cheers. Very heavy on mm. the saffron. Mm. Not crispy bottom, but definitely slightly burnt. I'd be really happy with that. It's a, it is really tasty. Right, everybody in, in for a snail, come on. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers, cheers. There's flavour there. Mm. It tastes nice. If I made it, I'd be happy. Did the chorizo go in? No. no. I cut the chicken up and cooked it in the chorizo oils, but referenced that it would not all go into the... That's what I did. I did a Barry Taylor. I turned three hobs on at once and then moved this oh, into, <laughs> into the middle of them. I tasted it three times and had overcooked, undercooked, and perfectly cooked rice <laughs> <laughs> in each. Curry, what did you rate yourself? And is this a pass or a fail? I gave myself a seven and I'm gonna give us a pass. I gave myself a six and I too would say that this is a pass. I gave myself a four. Oh. Ooh. And I... <laughs> you're, you're protecting yourself at every corner, yeah. aren't you here? I consider this a fail. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you? Oh, sorry oh, oh you're gonna take the higher ground. Yeah, I'm gonna take the high ground. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, I gave myself a six, uh, as I don't think I screwed it up. And I'd say this is a fail, because yes, it's a paella, but I don't think it's, I think we could do better. I went for my usual cocky eight, <laughs> <laughs> because at the point I left it, there was nothing had gone wrong. And I would say it is a pass. Okay, we did yes, it, we did it. it I think that's all right. I think we've all definitely learned something because yeah. I don't know about you guys, I've never made a paella before nope. ever. What I'm most looking forward to is the monkfish sandwich later. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Let's just make another paella. <laughs> like a proper one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We have made a playlist of every single pass it on we've ever done in chronological order, so you can go and watch them all and see whether we made any improvement whatsoever. Uh, we'd also like to take this moment to apologise to any Spaniards who may be affected by this video. We know you make paella best. Comment below, let us know which themes and which dishes we should tackle next. Until then, we'll see you on Sunday, 4pm. Bye! We've also built the Sorted Club where you can get tons of foodie inspo using the PAX Midweek Meal app, discover and share restaurant recommendations using the Eat app, listen and contribute to our Feast Your Ears podcast, and send us ideas for new cookbooks you'll receive throughout the year. Check it all out by heading to sorted.club. And now a blooper. The Valencians aren't here, so we can do what we want. Um, the
The Paella Protection Society came after me with death threats once upon a time for putting paella in a burrito. Um, so this will be my payback, I suppose.